Coming up next, retailers. They're scrambling to grab a share of the huge back to school market. Their newest tactic, YouTube videos that teenagers post with their haul from the mall. Is that gonna boost sales? We'll talk about it. Hmm, but we'll watch it for you. And today's take a number is $47.5 billion, and that is the National Retail Federation's total back to school spending number for 2009. Will Americans spend more or less this year? We'll find out tomorrow when the NF. NRF, I should say, uh, releases its 2010 estimate. So the hottest trend in retail these days, haul videos. Yes, as in you haul. These are videos that teenagers make of themselves showing off all the stuff they bought at the mall and then posting them on YouTube. Take a look. I'm going to be showing you my haul because I just went to the mall. And so I'm just going to show you, first off, I went to American Eagle. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, very Love cute, American but Eagles. why are we talking about this on um, CNBC? Yeah, because now so some of these kids are being courted by the big publicly traded retailers to push their specific deal. products. Thoughts now from Mandy Mankitz. She's social media expert at Spear Trading in Detroit and fashion retail expert and CNBC contributors. Hifka Pravagar in New York. Ladies, good to see you. Mandy, let me start with you. JC Penney's now has a deal with six of these girls. They give them cards. Sometimes they fly them into the store. They have them shop and then they post the videos. Good idea? It's a great idea. It's a great way to capitalize on this new emerging trend. JCPenney's is really at the beginning of the curve on this one and using this, the power of the teen. Um, you know, at, at no other time has this been a generation of 84 million that has adopted part of the experience economy. The first to have experienced product like the iPod and then mm -hmm. experience retail like anthropology. And now it's experienced marketing, you know, using YouTube. So they're definitely on the right track. I, I get the idea of uh, wanting to get really involved with social media because all the young kids are doing it but so much of what people like about user created content is it feels very authentic it feels real these girls obviously did this by choice they hadn't been paid if now retailers start to hire people to do this does it kind of take the luster off and actually damage the brand as long as there's an element of transparency, I, this generation doesn't mind being marketed to in a way that they like, they enjoy YouTube. And if you're transparent and it's, you know, you're claiming, hey, JC Penney's gave me this great gift card and they let me make this video completely unedited and share my thoughts, then it's a different kind of paid advertising. You know, you're aware and you're still getting someone's authentic opinion. And this generation is really unique. They like to be marketed to in the way that they like Can to. Can you hold on one second? I'm sure. so confused. Are you Hitha or are you Mandy? I'm Mandy. You're Mandy. Okay, I've, I've been referring to Hitha for the last couple of questions. Hitha, you want to you answer that question? Sure. I think that retailers right now are you know, in a little bit of a conundrum. They have higher inventory levels. Uh, retail sales have been falling for the last two months. And you know, Q2 comps are all high on the mind into the latter half. And I think social media, not just these haul videos that you're seeing, but uh, you see Twitter and Facebook, uh, that's another way that they're being able to connect to their consumer a lot faster and a lot more effectively. You know, Hitha, let, let me just get in here. You know, the, Jim Gray, the guy who uh, did the interview, there were some people who criticized him because he was too close to, uh, to LeBron and so on and so forth. But, but here I wonder whether if I'm looking at a, what is supposed to be a totally viral video and it turns out that the young lady or the guy has been paid his travel's been paid for to fly down to Plano Texas to go shop at a at a, at a, a, a JC Penney that that that's just not authentic and I'm going to reject that if I'm a potential buyer I'm going to realize hey they were paid they're just like uh you know, an endorser. Well, J.C. Penney is also being very cautious to not edit out those haul videos and very being very good about letting these kids say exactly what they want to say. In addition to the fact, if you go on their Facebook uh, pages, people are leaving comments and those aren't being edited out as well. So I think that these retailers are being very, very good. Uh, yes, they are getting paid some of these kids to, to do videos about the retailers, but they're being good about not editing them too much, which authenticates what mm -hmm. they're saying a little bit more. Okay, Mandy and Hitha, thank you so much, and we can show our viewers the wires here. We don't meet our guests in advance a lot, and sometimes they don't hear us, and we refer to one, the other, the other answers. It gets a little confusing. We apologize for that. Thank you, I ladies. I called a woman a man last week, as you may remember. <laughs> yeah. Her name was Bob or Bobby uh, or something like that. I don't know. It's so glamorous, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> All right.